Hi guys, Jonathan here and today I'm back for another um, tutorial on CDK. Um, so today we're going to talk about how to upgrade your CDK version from version 1 to version 2. And this is very important if your whole dev team is all into CDK version 1. Just last December, which is 2021 December, AWS announced a series of updates where they launched version 2. And version 1 is going to go into maintenance mode in June 2022. Um, that's not good because if it only goes into maintenance mode and there are no more updated features, you might um, find yourself incurring tech debt as AWS increases their product list, product features, and you might not want to be in that spot. So that's why we are gonna upgrade our version from one to two today. And it's gonna be a very simple tutorial. Uh, to be quite honest, the official docs uh, did a very good job in making sure that you can do that. But I'm gonna go through it with a video so that you don't have to you know, worry about it. Now let me point you to my website because from my website, um, it's just easier to you know impart the knowledge. So let me go ahead and get started. So this is my website at this point. Version one is due to enter maintenance in June 1, 2022 and end of life. Uh, June 1, 2023. So you probably have about a year plus um, in terms of using this version 1, but please move to version 2 because it's going to be much easier. Now, they have official docs like here. Um, just go for it. It's not too difficult, uh, but here I'm going to help you out a little bit. In my experience, I first updated my local machine's AWS CDK library to version 2 using npm install g, right? And so when you do that, for my case, all of my version one stacks became not deployable. Um, that's a problem. Uh, so you really want to make sure that when you do this step, um, back up everything and make sure that you follow through throughout the entire process for all your pipelines and all your stacks. Next up, you really want to remove all the references to AWS CDK version one in your NPM package list. That's important because if you don't, uh, it's gonna be an issue. So this is a sample of the package.json. Uh, let me just show you my git repo uh, so that you know where to look for it. In my git repo, I have a few branches. Let me show you real quick. In cdk-t5, this is where I've already converted my code into version two. In cdk-t4, is still in version one. So if you check out the code and you use these references, um, you should be able to follow quite simply. And let me just check out uh, cdk-t4. So let's do a git checkout cdk-t4, right? So once you go into t4, um, and then you go into the package.json, here you can see that my AWS Lambda and all this is still in version one. You can see that AWS CDK here is in version 1.9. But if I check out t5, right, tutorial five, you will see that I am on version two. You've got to remove all the references that limits your stack on version one. Okay, you have to remove them. Otherwise, when you do npm install, it's going to break, right? So right here, uh, this is to be removed. Uh, I've highlighted that in my uh, tutorial here. Uh, this is to be removed. All these dependencies are going to be removed because in version two, um, the good news is you don't have to separately install all the libraries here uh, when you do your updates. This time around, AWS CDK is, you can just do one update and it will encapsulate all the dependencies without explicitly you know, listing them. And it's going to be much easier. So a lot of my tutorials, I talk about, hey, you got to uh, update all your dependencies. Uh, uh, again, uh, for like, but from version two onwards, you don't really have to do that. All right. Then also delete the package log.json. This prevents updates and makes sure that your your npm modules are in sync and prevents erroneous overrides. So also remove the node modules. This is where when you do um, an npm install all the libraries and dependencies, the node modules is where they keep all those files. And so if remove them, and then we want to reinstall all the base packages without the above libraries. So all these are to be removed and we want to reinstall a lot of these things. Okay. Of course, after you remove all these things, right. And then you remove the node modules, you're going to be left with the JS node 
and TypeScript libraries, right? You can still keep them if you want to use them. But of course, if you want to take the chance to update them as well, go for it. Um, no one is stopping you. Do your first NPM install. That will install all the libraries within your new package.json file without all these things. Okay, so and it, it just means that it, it is without AWS CDK. Okay, then you install the library AWS CDK like lib and constructs. Now you need the constructs because this is a dependency that um, AWS uh, a CDK has extracted out from the AWS CDK library. So just install these two, right? And you will see later on how you can use this construct moving forward, all right? All your CDK references within your code will be primarily sourced from AWS CDK lib and construct libraries, all right? From here on out, all your TypeScript code within your AWS CDK stack would be broken, right? Uh, because again, the, all the old uh, libraries and dependencies are removed. You install some new ones, but the new ones are not compatible. This is where you really want to change your code from here on out. Do this step first before you continue. Now you have to change your AWS CDK version one code to version two conventions. And so some important pointers here, AWS CDK lib has replaced all AWS CDK libraries. Okay. So this is very important. Uh, you're not just referencing AWS CDK anymore. There is a lib suffix that you need to include. So use that. This is what I just mentioned. You don't really need to in, uh, install individual dependencies to deploy AWS resources in version two, which is going to be a plus. So it's not confusing. And then you got to change your libraries, right? This is the old code, right? You can see that you use the add uh, AWS CDK core. Now core is entirely removed. Remove that, that's not going to be part of it. You don't see that no more. Um, you're going to use AWS CDK lib and US CDK, okay? So this is the new style of code where you can actually uh, start importing your, uh, your modules in. And you can see that this individual component here or dependency or library, right, is not going to, is going to be changed into this, okay? And this is going to change into this. Now, I am operating on S3 and Lambdas because that's purely based on my previous tutorial. Um, if you are going to deploy on code pipeline, code build, this is going to be look a bit different. This is the construct, a newly added module that AWS CDK has extracted and placed as a separate uh, a component, right? So this is that. So this is the updated code and I will show you real quick in my code as well. So let me just show you very quickly. So uh, let's go into one of the lib uh, functions. Oh, sorry, not lib functions, but lib folders. Uh, let's take a look at the basic Lambda stack, right? From here out, uh, these are generating errors because this is the old code. This is the Lambda itself. Now, if I change from git checkout T4 to T5, let me do that, All right? So right now we have these three libraries that you should import or modules that you should import. Uh, for your CDK setup. So this is what is has come down to. You change everything into AWS CDK lib. Every references is into, uh, it has changed into this AWS CDK lib. Your constructor, CDK construct, now this doesn't exist anymore. This, been, this has been extracted out into its own new module. So that's where within your code, right, this construct, you have to install it separately. And this construct is used within the scope here. Okay, Init last time you have cdk.construct. Oh, now it doesn't work anymore, okay? Oops, okay, so it doesn't work anymore. Now you have to repeat all this exercise to all your TypeScript files within the lib and the bin folders, which is right here. Like all your lib, sorry, all your lib here, all the files within in terms of your TypeScript files, you have to change them into the convention above. So you have to rewrite all your CDK test cases to version two as well, right? So you gotta rewrite your AWS-CDK assert into AWS CDK lib assertions. Now they have even you know, changed the nomenclature and many of these methods have changed. You can see that for example, this is the version one uh, AWS CDK for testing. This is the style of it. So you have a test then you create your stack and then you try to match using this syntax. Now for version two, it looks better because at this point, uh, it actually teaches you on what you need to look out for, right? You have all these, this is all removed. 
uh, but you have something called template. This template can be, it is a wrapper and it actually extracts all the, all the configurations from that stack. And from this template, you can actually, you have uh, some methods that you can test for, for, for configurations. For example, does it have this SQS queue? Does it, and within this SQS queue, does it have a visibility timeout? So you can actually create test cases um, based on a very simplified manner of testing instead of just matching the templates. And this is not very intuitive. Version two is gonna be a little bit more intuitive and it's gonna be a little bit more useful moving forward. Uh, in future tutorials, we will talk about how we can create tests for our um, stacks, all right? All right, so next up, you have to remove all deprecated feature flags within cdk.json. Now, this is found right here. In your cdk.json, in the version one, right, you have some of these um, flags here, but many of these things are removed in version two. So you can see right here, uh, for example here, uh, enable stack du uh, name duplicates, this existed in version one, but it has been removed in version two. CDK will now behave as the same as when the flag is enabled, right? So they remove these kind of complexities from us so that you can deploy better. And then of course, if you need additional flags, you have to um, look into the official docs. Um, some flags are still there, some flags are not. It really depends on your pipeline. So go figure in terms of what you need for your own stack, right? Um, to be quite honest, if you don't really remove it, what happens is the compiler will keep triggering errors. <laughs> and so it will force you to remove those that are not useful. So next up, you got to rerun your AWS CDK bootstrap. Now this is where the CDK uh, will create a uh, you know, S3 bucket where you store some config files in that metadata in there so that they can run your deployment smoothly. So you have to rebuild this again, run your NPM run build CDK synth to run it smoothly. Um, so just go for it. At this point, after you have done everything above, your CDK version two should work. Meaning in my T5 here, right? My basic Lambda stack, I have changed my construct. I've changed my libraries here. Everything else actually still stays the same. So it is not a very difficult update. Your libraries have changed your construct has changed, but outside of that, everything else remains the same as per version one. So when you do this upgrade, it shouldn't really take too long for your own pipelines. Do it quickly because uh, once you hit June, version one is going on maintenance mode and there will be no more new features moving forward. Um, and this is important because you don't want any tech debt uh, as you deploy and make new pipelines on AWS CDK. My name is Jonathan and I will see you guys next time for another video.